All right, this is section 4.4, and we're going to start with a topic called finding the fully factored form. So here's an equation right here. So if I just said to you, factor this equation, x squared minus 2x minus 3, you know how to factor, and you would say, okay, that's a factor of x minus 3, and a factor of x plus 1, and we're going to let it be equal to 0. So there it is. There I factored either with the box method or with some other method, um, and you already know how to do that. I'm going to show you a new way to factor. So look at the graph that I have over here, which is the graph of x squared minus 2x minus 3. And you'll notice the x-intercepts, although they're a little hard to read right here, are at 3 and at negative 1. Okay, watch this. So I take one of the zeros, or the x-intercepts, and I say it's x equals negative 1. And then I want to kind of do something backwards. In other words, I want to make this equal to 0. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides. So then I get x plus 1 equals 0. And just hold that thought for a second. And let's do the same thing with the other 0, or x-intercept. We have x equals 3. I want to make this equal to 0, so I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides, and I get x minus 3 equals 0. What do you notice about these two little mini equations I came up with and these two factors? they are the same. So now I can make the fully factored form using this method here. See how I took one of the zeros, which is at negative 1, and then I made it into its factor, x plus 1. And then I took the other x-intercept, or 0, made it into a factor, it's x minus 3. And there's a new way to factor this polynomial. Let's try it with another example. And let's try it without actually factoring. So here is an example, x squared minus 2x minus 8. Again, it might be kind of hard to see, um, but we have a x-intercept here at negative 2, and we have an x-intercept right here at 4. And, and I'm just seeing these from the graph right now. So I have an x-intercept at negative 2. I add 2 to each side, so I get x plus 2 equals 0. Take the other x-intercept, x equals 4, subtract 4 from each side, I get x minus 4 equals 0. Here's my factors, x plus 2 and x minus 4. And all of this is the function factored. Now, before we move on to the next example, can you see a correlation between the x-intercept at negative 2 and the factor, okay? And the correlation between the x-intercept 4 and the factor. Another way I kind of like to think of this sometimes is all of these factors turn out to be like this. x minus, and I'm just going to put it in little parentheses, the 0, or the x-intercept. So if this is my rule x minus the 0, here I had a 0 at negative 2, so I could have written x minus negative 2, and then a minus a minus, of course, is a plus, and then the other one, x minus the 0. Well, the 0 is at 4, and nothing to do there, so that's just x minus 4. Kind of a shortcut, um, so you don't have to do this procedure every time. Just think of it as x minus the 0, and then that helps you create the fully factored form. Let's do another example. So here's a cubic. I know it's a cubic. I see two turning points. I see three x-intercepts. Um, kind of hard to read there, so I'll just let you know what they are. 
we have a 0 at negative 2, we have another 0 at negative 1, and we have another 0 at 1. Let's just go ahead and directly and make the fully factored form. x minus the 0 and x minus the 0 and x minus the 0. Remember these words are all the same. The 0, the x-intercept, um, roots, we're going to call them roots in the future. All those things mean the same thing. Let's go ahead and simplify this just a bit. So minus a minus is plus, minus a minus is plus, and that's just minus. And is that just about the fastest way you have ever factored a third degree polynomial? Another example. Here's a fourth degree polynomial. And watch how fast we're going to factor this one. We have zeros at negative 2. We have a 0 at negative 1, a 0 at 1, and a 0 at 2. Fourth degree polynomial, also an even polynomial. Let's go ahead and make its fully factored form. x minus the 0, x minus the 0, x minus the 0, x minus the 0. Clean these two factors up a little bit. So we have x plus 2 and x plus 1 and x minus 1 and x minus 2. And that for sure is the fastest you have ever factored a fourth degree polynomial. So this is how we're finding a fully factored form by knowing the zeros. And right now the only way we know the zeros is by looking at the graph. Either the graph is given to you or you would graph it on your calculator and find these. So this is the end of the first lesson.